We have four objectives we want to accomplish in this video. First, we want to get villagers set up at home. We want to build a farm so then we can actually capitalize on the emeralds from those villagers. And then we want to get mending. From there, we need to go get full diamond armor to get kitted for the nether. I'm also trying to see if we can hit 100 likes on this video. And while you're there, YouTube told me that only 11% of you are subscribed. Enjoy the video. The reason we're building a boat is we're going to go pick up the villager and bring it on back. Actually, first, let's build the area that the villager will be sitting in. Honestly, I'm almost thinking if we can remove some of these here and we can build a kind of a cute roof, it'll separate this house a little bit more, which I know has been the issue. It's just a giant room. So uh, I think this will be a good use of space. Let's test it out real quick. All right. So now it kind of looks like a separate roof inside of here, which I really like. I feel like it, it just kind of breaks up the space a little bit more and makes it feel more intentional. And while we're here, we're going to place two lanterns because uh, lanterns are better than torches. <laughs> yeah, that's really cute. Take a look at that. I love that look. Um, we'll probably add some more textures and things like that and obviously build out the back here. Um, maybe even separate them so each one is in their own respective areas. But this is solid. I really like this. This just temporary build here. Also, and if you tuned into the last stream, we were streaming some creative to kind of work on some of the, the upgrades to this home because I realized, you know, walls are kind of my my bane of existence so we're going to spend some time at some point to upgrade these walls and just make them a little better because flat walls are never good we need depth and i think through that stream we learned a lot about how building works and how to add additional depth so i'm really happy with that all right let's go pick up a villager here we might end up having to sleep over here because the sun is getting pretty low and i'm pretty sure traveling with a boat <laughs> is not the most effective way to do it so <laughs> we'll see here in a minute I'm not a professional Minecrafter in any regard, but I guess that's why we're playing is to get better. So drop some comments as far as what you guys think uh, would be helpful for me to learn in this game to expedite the process of becoming a professional Minecrafter sooner than later, hopefully. You know, actually, I didn't realize we had this, but I'm wondering if with the brewing stand, we could make the, uh, the easier setup for cheaper mending and everything else i don't know what we would call that but the splash potion of weakness i'm not sure if we need anything from the nether for that but we'll see and off to the races i don't know if uh oh gosh okay so already struggling here <laughs> okay someone come to my trap please you know i think a long-term build here while we're waiting for the night to to come and so we can sleep uh, i'm thinking this could be a really cool port where it almost has imports and exports coming through here. I just feel like it's such a good place to build, especially with the village right here. We could almost revamp and upgrade the village to give it just additional, I guess, a larger feel, just better in general, and um, have it connected indirectly to our main house there. I think that would probably be maybe one of our first builds. We'll see. Let's go to sleep. Look, it's going to be one of us, and it's not you sleeping. So, sorry, bud. All right, a fresh day. I'm realizing this will probably take a little bit longer than anticipated. Um, let's build out the direction. We need a straight line there, right? I mean, I don't think we can actually go up a level with a boat, which makes this entirely more difficult. So maybe we can go up with stairs. Let's test that out real quick. So we can't even go up in stairs. This is going to be quite a difficult task to get these uh, villagers over to our place. All right, so we built a path all the way from here to the entire area. We'll show you in a second. And here's our path. So it's going to go all the way through here and around this corner, which we manually placed each of these blocks here. And it goes through here to the village. So I'd say this is pretty good as long as we can get a villager in here. And then we just need a lectern and we'll be good to go. We can take this composter from this guy, right? Okay, cool. And then he's going to get in the boat, hopefully. Please. Come on, buddy. We're almost there. Yes, let's go. Okay, off to the races. Let's go. We need to be somewhat careful and meticulous about the decisions we make on the way back. <laughs> they could be pretty bad. I just love how we're just rowing on land. This is just incredible. Oh, you're following us. Maybe we'll get two and one. You good, dude? You just see your buddy leaving? Is that why you're upset? All right, careful around the corners here. <laughs> no need to stress. We're doing good. Slow and steady wins the race here. And a big fall here. Oh, that's awesome. All right, we're pretty much home free. Oh, so he's already gotten a different role. Very interesting. 
and we just need him to go up in here. So what I'm going to do is destroy these. I believe this is what got him going. Let's see. Okay, yep. And now let's place the composter in here, and he should just go to his home, right? Oh no, okay. So we need him to come up here. We're going to break the boat and then place it, and then hopefully be able to guide him in. Come on. Come on up. No, no, no. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. No. No, wait. Where are you going? Stop it. All right, round two. All right, round two. Let's see. Moment of truth. And place the boat. Place the boat. Oh, no. We can't place on slabs. Oh, he's going anyways. Okay, he's inside. Uh, uh. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get in the boat. Or get inside. Yes. Victory. Let's go. Massive, dude. All right, you feeling at home here? We got really lucky. All right, and then now all we need to do is break this until he has something that we can give him. All right, 20 wheat for one emerald. Quite the uh, the scam here, but it's better than nothing, right? We can start getting some emeralds going. This also means that we're going to fly through a lot of this wheat, so it might just make sense to make a larger farm a little further around here maybe. To just fully encompass the needs that we need in order to get a solid amount of mending books. So we'll probably do that in this video as well. In the meantime, oh, not Z's in chat yet. Hold on. Also, if you were curious about uh, the live streams and everything, come join the Discord. I don't really have a schedule yet as far as streaming goes, but if you are curious, by the way, Z's in chat, if you are curious, you know, I will be pinging the Discord whenever we do go live, and it will be primarily for stuff when. Uh, there's little or no progression in the hardcore world. We'll play on stream, so then it's not wasting time during the recording and whatnot. And you guys can still experience a little bit of that. So, all right, day two, let's go get a second villager here. Moment of truth. All right, we need to find a lectern before we get somebody in the boat. Because if we can't find a lectern, it's going to be a lot bigger of an issue here. All right, we found a lectern with a good fella here. Sorry for taking your stuff, man, but... I'm gonna need this. So, stay safe, enjoy. Now the task of finding a villager on this level here. Oh, look at that, I baited him with the lectern. He's in, let's go. Okay, great to know that that's a way to do it. And we're off. And I figured I'd just show this giant fall because it's kind of dopamine. So there we go, there you go, enjoy. All right, so as we pull up here, I'm gonna try something different. Because he was attracted to the lectern, what I'm going to do is place it here. And then we're going to break the boat and then quickly place it down in the way of the lectern. Moment of truth here. Okay. All right. Hey, hey, that, that worked. Let's now do it again. We'll place the lectern inside over here and he will be fully attracted to the lectern. So let's try it out. Moment of truth. Go on in, buddy. Be free. Hey, no, no, no. You're going the wrong way. Go home. There we go. No, no, no. Stay in there. Perfect. Let's go. All right, and now we just need to make sure he has mending. So let's get to work. A fortune three book? Hold on. Do we just get this real quick? No, no, no. We're, we're good. We're good. That's incredible. We might need to just breed these and, and get it going like that. I don't know how all of that works, but having multiple books like fortune three and things would be a godsend. Hey, get out of the composter. We got to get to work, buddy. That's not working for you. I need you to take a job here. I'll make you guys two beds, though. I think that's what you need to be happy. Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to need you to get out of this composter, man. <laughs> Please help me. Help me help you. Okay, cool. Hold on. What you got? Blast protection? You can stay right there. I don't mind. Frostwalker. Bane of Arthropods 5. Honestly, we might just get this real quick. Um, yeah, because it would be great for our... our uh, XP farm. So because it costs 43 emeralds and our trades equate to not a lot, we're going to make a potato farm that's absolutely massive and slowly get some of these trades going here. The first time in a really long time that our inventory isn't looking like crap. Uh, I'm very happy about that. So massive win. The reason I'm doing potatoes instead of wheat is we can get more than two in each one of these so we got almost a stack and a half with just this tiny section here so i think honestly that will make trades so 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 much easier all right and then i'm thinking we'll actually turn the side of this cliff maybe into the farm 
I just think this really open area here would be really useful to leverage. So if we could tie it into the river here, I think it'd be really cool. Almost have it like streaming in from there. Make it look a little more natural. All right, let the floodgates open. Let's see. Moment of truth here. I want it to look kind of natural here. So I'm just having it starting to come in here. And then we'll probably terraform this area a little bit to just make it feel more natural in general. All right, and we have water seeping in. Let's go. Kind of cool. Kind of liking how this is turning out. Although, I don't know if the concept was was really that great. So we're, we're just going to let it slide here for a minute. I think if we treat this as like a retention pond where we could honestly dig even a little lower just for the sake of concept. And then we can build out straight in each of the different ways or kind of just make it feel like there's additional streams exiting from each of these. It's going to be a really cool build. So I'm going to try that out. All right, our in-game clock is telling us that we need to go to sleep. I do like this hill because it's just a pre-warning to nighttime, so it's just kind of nice. All right, we got three emeralds in about a stack and a half, which is not that great, but once we have a, a massive build and this farmer starts to level up more, we'll get better trades and everything else, so I'm happy with this. Another day, another dollar. Let's go check out our potatoes here and uh keep building this out it needs to be somewhat massive right like i want to take up a lot of this space here but i also don't want to lose the natural environment and it's a it's a really hard balance to be finding here i'm realizing now that the unbreaking upgrade might have been kind of useless for our pickaxe because we'll have mending soon but regardless we're still going to keep it going and we might just end up remaking the pickaxe later on uh with better everything so we'll see it's only our first pickaxe you know all right and i know this is not a big farm at all but i feel like it feels really natural for some reason i i really like it so uh it up close is pretty functional we're able to jump between these over here we'll break everything along the outsides and then of course since these are streams it'll just end up right here anything that falls in the water so i feel like it's a pretty great upgrade for us as far as being able to plant stuff and and uh, be productive in that regard. So this is good. And we've placed some of the potatoes right here and we're good to go. I guess theoretically, I probably shouldn't have traded all of those potatoes. So then we could have filled all this out, but it's all right. It's all right. And just so we have it, I'm going to build somewhat of a little path over to our main place here. Just so, you know, we can jump on up and get on over to our farm earlier than having to walk all the way around. So massive win here honestly what we might end up doing is building a little port or kind of something right here just make it feel more like it's intentionally man-made because this does look man-made in many ways it, it looks like um medieval they wanted to leverage the water stream and then build out from there so i, I feel like it was a pretty pretty good concept as long as we build something up here it'll be great excuse me sir could you please give me some of those potatoes back that would be greatly appreciated here. <laughs> we'll go pick up some bones for bone meal from our XP farm, which somebody uh, in the comments said that the XP farm generates like one bone per hour or something because sometimes a spider can spawn with a skeleton riding it. However, I'm not quite sure how that would work because um, how does the skeleton fit in in the top area there? I don't know, but... Still really cool. Four total bones in everything. Let's go. 12 bone meal to get us going. And let's get this bone meal going before we go to sleep here. All right, so this is what we got from our bone, bone meal. I guess it's probably about 20 more potatoes planted, but uh, <laughs> it'll work out. It'll, it'll work out. We're good. We might actually need to expand this farm, but I think it's a nice starter where it's not overkill, you know? We don't need crazy automation this early on. Uh, we'll build a farm later on if we really want it that has pistons, that has, you know, auto, whatever we want to do. But right now, I want to feel the Minecraft authenticity in this game and, and kind of take it back to the basics instead of trying to rush through the game and optimize everything. I feel like there's a beauty to just enjoying this little build here instead of trying to go crazy having the whole mountain auto plant and everything else. <laughs> no shade to that play style but I don't know I'm just wanting to, to play at a little different of a pace and honestly I knew we said that we would or I know we said we would go for Bane of Arthropods but honestly uh, I'm so tossed up because I really want mending 
but Band of Arthropods 5 just being so accessible right here, it'll just take forever with 43 emeralds. So I would personally rather get mending going on all of the pieces that we have and then just work for the XP grinder for the Bane of Arthropods. So let's do that. Ooh, a Silk Touch upgrade. Nope, nope, keep going, keep going, stop it. Don't get distracted. Mending, let's go, and it's only 14 emeralds. I would count this as a massive, massive win. I'm very, very happy with this outcome. Um, so now all we need to do is just get a few more emeralds. We might actually have enough for a majority of the first mending book. Let's see. We can actually buy our first mending book. We had 15 emeralds waiting for us. So let's go get a book and upgrade our pickaxe and just feel good about life. And the mending upgrade, let's go. This is amazing. Um, I might end up just trying to get fortune three instead of fortune two on a diamond pickaxe uh, and then get, you know, efficiency and mending on that. So I think for now though, this is fantastic and we'll get efficiency upgrade and we'll be good to go. Beautiful mending on our first item. So let's now go get level 30 and try to work towards an efficiency upgrade. Oh, it's just waiting for us. Look at that. It's just waiting for us. Let's go do it. All right, we've done it. It took a little bit longer than I had anticipated to actually get level 30 enchantment, but we're here and we've made it, which gives us the ability to upgrade our pickaxe. Honestly, this is a massive upgrade for us because Efficiency is going to make everything so much faster and power. Oh my gosh. Uh, we won't be using the power, but eventually that would be good to use. So here we go. A efficiency for mending, unbreaking fortune two pickaxe. What do we call this? We're going to call it clouds axe. Clouds pick. Clouds familia. Cloud. Cloud. Clouds ex excavator. There we go. I like it. It's a perfect excavator for us, which means now we get to go mining for some diamonds. What a beautiful, beautiful moment in the series. Thank you, fellas over there for helping us out. This is a big, big moment for us. So we need to clear out our inventory, make sure that we have all the space we need to go, and we'll be on our way. All right, and I think we're good to go. Now, remember in the last video, uh, we had actually found Skulk territory in our previous mine so what we're going to do is go down to where that old mine we created was and go either left or backwards from where we were before just so we avoid hitting any of that uh because that won't be fun so let's go get down there and get on moving all right we've made it down here now what we're going to do is take this trap door from where we were before and we're going to start probably going this direction left i just feel like it's a good place to start so um, actually, this is really fast. I'm wondering if it would just be easier for us to go like this. Because if we're... Let, let's just test this real quick. If we are mining like this, we might not actually be able to keep up. I don't know. This is difficult. We'll probably just do this method for now. All right, I'm going to be honest. The one path just... It doesn't feel comfortable anymore. We don't really need to do it. So we're actually just going to start digging in twos. I know it's less efficient, but to be honest, it just feels a little safer than being claustrophobic laying down oh my gosh oh my gosh and there's skulk right there wait is this just a massive skulk area underneath us okay I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this let's see how deep this lava is that could have been really bad actually and i'm glad that we decided to go two instead of one because that would have been a big issue there honestly if, if skulk is even that way that means skulk is going from there all the way down from where we mined in the other episode which is massive that's a massive area for us to explore later let's just go this way now and hope for the best the worst case if there's skulk over here we're leaving this place oh would you look at that this is the way this is the way let's mine it out because we have the luxury of being able to do that oh my gosh and we got nine diamonds from that amazing so just a four gave us nine something we really can look forward to here is exponentially getting more diamonds oh we got some gold going let's go and we're looking forward to using this in the nether amazing I'm not gonna lie it's a little lonely in the mines here all right these underground sounds need to chill out i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna cut it out in 
in uh, the video for you guys, but that sound was very, very not fun for me. And that's proper grammar, right? Our first ore in a really long time. We got some lapis lazuli here. Oh, we got some more diamonds. Let's go. This is a big moment for us. All right, one, two. So now we have a total of 13, which I believe is enough for the rest of our set. But we're going to go for a little longer just to get all of our upgrades across the board and a little bit of extra just in case we lose our items or for whatever reason need something else. Oh, we dug straight into some diamonds. Would you look at this? Oh, it's perfect. Just in line with our, our row there. Total of 16 so far. Let's keep going a little bit more. Oh, hello. Okay. Glad we did. Glad we did. Any others around here? Do we need to dig around? Because you were hiding. And honestly, with that, we have 20. I feel comfortable leaving and finishing the rest of our set. So thank you, mines. Feeling good now. I have no clue where we are. I think I made a mistake. Okay, we need to make sure that this is very visible as far as where our center point is. This is definitely a rainy seed, I'm not going to lie, but I'm glad we're out of the dungeon, the mines area that we made. I'm realizing maybe later on we create a different mine structure further away from our house, probably going this way. Just because I'll be honest, I do not want to mess with Skulk at all right now. I don't feel like we're prepared in the slightest. And uh, any any potential to really harm us like that will just be horrible. So here we are making our two sets of pieces here. And now we have a full diamond set. What a beautiful moment in this series. Look at us. We're looking fresh. Uh, let's go check out if we can upgrade any of these with Enchants. But I'm feeling pretty happy with the progress here as far as personal upgrades. And uh, we can always step back and continue upgrading them later. And I actually just decided to go for a Feather Falling 3. And it gave us Protection 2 and Unbreaking 3. Which honestly I'm not even mad about. Let's see how much damage we take here. Moment of Truth. One Heart of Damage. I'm not mad at all. This is amazing. Alright and if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe. I'm trying with different lengths of videos to really see what you guys prefer and what you guys like. Uh, this is definitely much more progress with a fraction of the amount of time spent uh, actually watching. So it's really up for grabs. Whatever you guys are feeling, you know, I want to make sure that we're, we're both on this journey together and feeling good. So hit like, hit subscribe. Let me know if you like the length of this versus other videos and we'll see you in the next video. We have a lot planned. Goodbye.